Now I'd like to tell you about Lloyd Thayer, about to take the stage to my right with his paintings beside him. Lloyd Thayer comes from Concord, Massachusetts. He is a multi-instrumentalist and plays a number of instruments, in fact, uh, more than he can name. Uh, in a, a quick a asking of the question. Some include the Weissenborn, lap steel guitars, Indian chaturangi, uh, Turkish oud, uh, dobro ukulele, and many more. Um, he is a composer as well as instrumentalist and often creates fusion with the music that he plays from around the world, including folk music, blues, Indian, Arabic, Turkish, and music and sounds from Southeast Asia. He has eight CDs of his music, of instrumental sounds, music, and his original songs as well. Last time he was here, he performed his instrumental music primarily, and he also tends to educate his audience uh, as he plays and tells about the instruments and, and the music itself. Re uh, not that long ago, I found out that Lloyd uh, is prolific in writing songs as well and has a number of original songs to share and invited him to come back and share some today. And that was addition, Saturday, January 19th all right. of 2008. Oh, thank you. Was anybody here at that <laughs> show? <laughs> wow, okay, that's okay. That's great because I'm going to play the exact same thing. I did that <laughs> and you kind of let down for you, which is fantastic. <laughs> And Lloyd is also a painter. You'll see his art here beside him. And uh, on his website, uh, Lloyd is also an activist for peace, if you go to his website. And I just wanted to end with a few of his words. That war never brings peace. Hate never brings love. Only love can bring love. Love people all the time, no matter what. I want to thank you for that and for in advance for your performance today. Please give warm welcome to Lloyd Thayer.
you. Thank you very much. Um, I have to think of something witty to say here. Does anybody have any questions about anything before I continue? Dead silence. <laughs> Welcome to Hoptington, everyone. This is my second time in Hoptington this year. Thank you. Hold your applause, please. <laughs> OK, great. Uh, let's have another big round of applause for Cheryl Perrault. Yeah. In addition to hosting today's performance, Cheryl's also my legal guardian and parole officer. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm really grateful that she invited me back almost seven years later. So I'd like to come back again in seven years, which would be 2022. I'm thinking in the spring of 2022. And I will be a lot better than I am right now. <laughs> Um, because I'm definitely a lot better than I was seven years ago. None of you know that because you weren't here seven years ago, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. This is one of the re I can't talk because it'll, it'll take the whole amount of time. You'll be here till 4 o'clock. This is a Weizenborn guitar. It has two necks uh, instead of one, but normally they have one neck. This one is made by Patty Bergen in Wellington, New Zealand. Uh, the Weizenborn guitar was invented in the early 1900s, sort of a Hawaiian-style guitar, but this one's a modern uh, builder who made this. And there are only two of these particular types of guitars with the double necks on earth at this particular moment, uh, and the other one's in San Francisco. So That has nothing to do with this next song, but it has words, so here we go. Bob Dylan was in a no-win situation After he had written certain songs The critics rushed to print their explanations He was playing the harmonica all wrong And the pilgrims, they sailed from all over the nation Broken wings and union sing-alongs To give the prophet their interpretations When they discovered Woodstock, he was already gone Maybe it's your mind that's in the way Maybe it's your mind that's in the way and Houdini, he was the greatest of the escapists That's a claim that's sure to keep one unemployed But he needed a manager to extricate him From obscurity in Woodstock, Illinois And the skeptics, they lined up all across the Great Plain to punch him in his stomach made of iron his appendix burst and he refused to see a doctor his pride chained him to his couch and there he died maybe it's your mind that's in the way Maybe it's your mind that's in the way And the Dalai Lama, he was the source of great quotations Of a million clever things he never said His disciples, they acted out pleasant rationalizations They spread like wildfire on the internet Oh, those Tibetans, they had a thing for reincarnation A golden chain of links to hold that throne At the mother's home, it was an awkward situation When they removed the child and claimed him as their own 
mind that's in the way Maybe it's your mind that's in the way Maybe it's your mind that's in the way Thank you. Thank you. I apologize if there's any tulkus in the room. That was a Tibetan Buddhist joke. <laughs> Does anybody know what a tulku is? A tulku is a, is, is a reborn lama. The theory is that they, are, they choose to come back. This is way too esoteric for ca cable. Just cut this. So um, <laughs> they choose to be reborn and they come back again. And so it would be like you had a Cheryl Peralt and she died and then a little, someone else was born and it was Cheryl Peralt too. So the Dalai Lama is really a tuku in theory. He's the 14th. That's great, Edu education, we're learning things today. Okay, great. And this is a saz, which is the national instrument of Turkey. And that's about all I'm going to say about it for now. I'm going to leave that microphone alone just because I can. Does anybody have any questions about that? Okay, great. Raise your hand if you're having fun. Okay, because if you're not, you're going to start now. I only have this is two more songs left after this, and then I'm going to light myself on fire. So if you're not having fun <laughs> now, start now because you're going to be driving home thinking, wow. So we'll do a Turkish introduction to this and then an original tune. So uh, let's see, 50% of the material that I'm playing today is not available on my CDs, which is really great. If there's any young singer-songwriters in the crowd, don't do that. <laughs> Founding fathers had a vision of the future. George Washington knew I'd need to own my own bazooka. And we all live by the golden rule. Do unto others before they do unto you. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. And nothing in this world is really bulletproof. Ninety guns, ninety guns. For every hundred people, we got ninety guns. Double the barrel and double the fun For every hundred people we got 90 guns We want it now, we're addicted to more And Walmart is our favorite store TV, groceries and children's tricycles And fully automatic assault rifles So welcome everybody to the land of the free Where you can be all you can be Greatest nation on this earth or any other But now you better run for cover Ninety guns, ninety guns For every hundred people we got ninety guns Double the barrel and double the fun For every hundred people we got ninety guns <clears throat> Thank you
All right, I'd like to play this last song for my friend Ellen Schmidt, who didn't make it here today, but who was a really sweet person. She had car trouble, which I witnessed on the way here, so. Um. And I want to thank Cheryl again for having me. And I uh, also want to thank both the other features for being here. It was great to hear you, Dan. And, uh, and I want to thank you, the studio audience, for being here. And you for watching at home. Does anybody have any questions before we end? <laughs> Nothing. Dead silence again. OK. I am going to set myself on fire, that's right, it, after the last <laughs> song. So if anybody wants to, if, those of you who feel drawn into the performance could stand by with water, and those who don't, just, just sit back and watch. Um, sort of like, in Shiva, as you know, is a, is a fire ceremony, so that will be. Um, I just do ask if it gets close to the instruments, if you could drag them into safety. Okay, it will, it absolutely will interfere with parole. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay, this is uh, a song called Paper Plates. Oh, I have to put my capo on. Let's see? Doesn't that sound horrible? It does, actually. It's, it's very dissonant. But luckily, I'm a professional, and I happen to have the capo right here. So everything's OK. I also want to thank the camera people. Camera, is this camera one? Yeah. Camera one, camera two, and there is no camera three. That's the oldest trick in the book. Camera three is a wide shot. I spent a lot of, I'm a recovering videographer. I spent a lot of my life in rooms like this. And I actually can run camera three on the next performance if you want someone. I am a trained, uh, authorized, <laughs> licensed camera person. So, and I want to thank Camera 2 for saving my painting from uh, death and destruction. He's a young, uh, fresh-faced lad. If you stick in the uh, cable business, or in the video business specifically, the only people who make less money than videographers are uh, harmonica salespersons on the <laughs> corner, or perhaps street-performing harmonica people. Um, sorry, that's just the reality of it. A little inside television stuff, okay. Nice, nice cold day for reminiscing As fathers take their boys to visit funeral homes With far-off plans and one-way conversations And paper cups and orange methadone Playing paper pirates with a walnut shell bow Trying to keep the car between the lines He got babysat by friends on TV As the dumpster goes, they were circling in the sky So I guess there's really Heroes here among us They're sorting through the big stuff way up there And I'm glad that I am not among them I'm just trying to do the right thing way down here The mothers, they want to reunite the family home home sweet home upon the firing range it's a stainless steel and laminated archive and no one ever mentions 
heavy rain And it's a lonely wind that blows the weeds in your town In the projects with the windows barred and sealed And I don't want to die here angry and bitter Chasing paper plates and I'm floating in the breeze So I guess there's really heroes here among us And they're sorting through their millions way up there And I am glad that I am not among them I'm just trying to do the right thing from way down here So set a wall, not boat, upon the ocean It's formless and wide open like a dream The good old ways are falling by the wayside It's not that hard to grow up and be free So let's keep on Trying to do the right thing Put one foot in the front of your mind And when you get knocked upon your ass now Please get up and try again just one more time Please get up and try again just one more time Thank you very much. Sunset on 115. The wrecker came today. Farmhouse down. But a door remained where the piazza entrance was. Leaning sideways propped by the rubble of my childhood home. This door reminds me of going home to my widowed mother, always there, alert, interested, adding blessings to pound milieu, kale soup, and linguisa. of relatives and friends coming to mourn at Pa's and Fina's wakes, and of a timid little girl sliding out the piazza door to run round the house in circles, not knowing how else to grieve. Of brothers leaving for World War II, and of Ma standing at the door in tears. Of aunts who came to laugh, cry, and sew. Of cousins who came to skate at the bog, but delayed in the kitchen to talk with Aunt Vanji. Of the kids who came to call for us, but finished the family rosary before we went to hide and seek. Of bringing library books home for Ma, Thomas Merton, Doug Hammerschuld, and Dorothy Day. Of older brothers arriving from hard work and study talking round the kitchen table and of the feeling that my family was intelligent. Of revelers coming with guitars to sing Portuguese drinking songs at our door and of going with them to other doors to make silly the days of Christmas.
of being encouraged to study and to communicate clearly so that I could make the world a better place. Of leaving for grade school, high school, and college, and bringing a bigger world home to Ma. There, alert, interested. This door a reminder of a home rich with coming and going and of a mother's contemplative presence, of the invitation to learn, love, laugh and serve, of going forth beyond the door at 115, this farmhouse a stepping stone. Thank you. Peach and pear.